Welcome back everybody, Gabriel Varga here. I have to apologize, I haven't been uploading that much recently. Sorry about that. I have my next fight coming up. I'm back to the kickboxing ring and I'm gonna be defending my Bellator belt on October 12th in Milan, Italy. If you wanna watch my fight live, you can. It's super easy, just download the Bellator app. You can watch it real time. I'm gonna be fighting over there probably around six or seven. So I'm guessing it's gonna be 10 in the morning on Saturday, October 12th. I've been told it's so easy to watch the fight live. Just get the app and you're done. But enough of that right now. Today I wanna to take a moment and talk about visualization. It's all up here. If in your mind you can be as strong and as experienced as your opponent, it doesn't matter if they have 50 fights and you have 10, or you have 30 fights and they have 200. Oh, and make sure you guys stay tuned to the very end of the episode. I have another giveaway. Find out how to win it after we finish talking about visualization. I really, really believe that visualization is one of the key aspects you can use as an athlete to make yourself the best version that you can possibly be. The mental aspect of competition is just as important, if not more important than the physical side. Now you train the physical side hour and hour and day and day and week after week, but what do you do for the mental side of training? Personally, I learned about a decade ago that getting in the ring with these athletes who had so much more experience than me was gonna be detrimental to myself. So I had to figure out what I was gonna to do to make sure that I, at least mentally, had that same experience as them. And I found that sitting down using visualization can make those experiences that normally give you butterflies, they become so much more familiar that when you actually are in the moment, it's not quite as shocking to the system. So let's start off and talk about when I specifically use visualization. For me, I use this process when nerves arise, when I get those butterflies in my stomach. At those moments, it's time for me to recognize, okay, you know what, something about the upcoming fight is making me nervous, and I'm gonna face that fear right now by using visualization techniques. Now from there, let's talk about how I use it. And this process is fast for me. It's only five minutes max, sometimes just one or two minutes, depending on what's really making me nervous. So what I do is I just find a space where I'm not gonna be interrupted, where I can close my eyes, and I can really focus up without being interrupted and I just close my eyes and I start thinking right now what specifically is making me nervous. For me specifically, the part that really seems to give me butterflies and the part that causes me a lot of anxiety is the whole point from the beginning when I'm in my hotel room and I hear that knock on the door and I know, oh, it's time to head down to the lobby and then from there we're going to the fight venue. Then from there I have to wait around until it's my warm-up time, then I have to warm up and I've talked about the warm-up before, you never feel great, and that always causes me a bit of anxiety as well. And then you get your fight warm-up done with, and you have to wait around and do the walkout down to the ring. All that, for me, just causes me so much stress and anxiety, and I'm getting better over the years, but I really think one of the reasons I'm getting more comfortable with it, not only the fact that I've fought over 40 times, but also visualization, I've done that in my head hundreds of times. And when I'm up against a fighter who has so much more experience than me, you know, when I'm fighting one of those Thai guys who has hundreds of fights themselves, how am I gonna compete with them experience-wise? I'm never gonna have 100 fights, but what I can do is I can visualize that and use my mind to recreate those moments so that when they actually come to fruition, I'm not really shocked by them. I've already done them five, 10, 15 times during my training camp, and now they're not foreign. They're a reality that I've lived over and over and over during my training camp, and I'm ready for them. I'm ready to face that fear. That's my main advice for visualization. Figure out what you fear most about the fight and face it. And use that technique of visualization over and over and over and over until it doesn't scare you anymore. Those scary situations become normal. Visualization. It's amazing, try and utilize it, face your fear, it'll make you a better fighter. All right guys, there you go. There's no massive secret, just get out there, do it, kind of like training, you wanna get better, how do you accomplish it? You put in the time. And it doesn't need to be a long time. I can go through that whole experience that I was talking about that makes me nervous now in probably 60 seconds. I close my eyes and I go, oh, here comes the door knock. And oh, I'm feeling nervous. And then I walk down to the lobby and maybe my opponent's there. And it's a little bit awkward. Then I have to get into the car and get transported to the venue. And then from the venue, I get there and I have to wait around until it's my warm up. Now I start warming up and those nerves are there and I'm feeling terrible. My body's sluggish and heavy and I finish my warm up. Now I'm feeling sharp. Now I have to wait to walk out to the ring. I make my walk out to the ring, I walk up the stairs. 
I get in the ring, I face down my opponent, I touch gloves. And then from there, I don't go any further. Because at that point, all the training will take over. I've prepared for this opponent. I don't need to visualize what's gonna happen and I don't wanna over visualize what might happen because if something changes, I don't wanna have my mind set on one type of fight. But everything I know that's gonna happen, I can visualize that so it's normal. And at least for me, visualization has been such an intricate part of my training and I think everybody should be doing it. I hope you guys try it. I hope it works for you. As I mentioned before, guys, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a giveaway. I have this, this lovely glory towel. I've never actually used it before. It came in a bag that I got years ago when Glory was giving out all sorts of paraphernalia. I thought it was awesome. I was gonna put it up at my gym in the future when I get one. But now as you guys can see in the back, I got Glory Belt, I have Glory Trophies. I'd rather pass this on to somebody who's gonna be really thrilled to have it. So if you guys want to win this towel, in the comments below, write down your favorite Bokao fight. One of my favorite fighters, probably one of your favorite fighters. If you pick the same fight that is my favorite Bokao fight, the first person to write that down will win the towel. I'll get in contact with you, send it over. I'll sign it if you want. Here's a hint. It's not Bukau versus Masato. It's a technical fight where he picks somebody apart. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode today about visualization. Make sure you download the Bellator app, watch my fight October 12th. Good luck on winning the towel. And I'll see you guys back here again soon for another episode.